So, I'm gonna be honest, I've been kind of lazy not filming. Well, it's not even laziness, it's uh, coldness, I guess you would say. It was so cold the other days. I just didn't even feel like feel filming, to be honest. So, unfortunately, I don't have that video for you guys. But hopefully, I can just update you. I mean, I'll, honestly, I'll, all I've done was some maintenance. Um, so, I bought the truck, 1999 Dodge Ram 2500, 5.9 diesel, for $2,400. And, of course, you know, uh, the first thing I did was fix the wiring. Well, first off, I was having trouble. Like, I went outside to... I just planned on doing, like, oil changes and things like that. But then I went out there to start it, and I was having a hard time starting. So I was like, okay, well, hopefully it's not the, the, um, the starter. So I went and had the batteries tested in interstate close to me. And... Uh, Dave, I know over there in Island Lake Interstate, that's who I would recommend going through, um, you know, to buy some Blem batteries and just see what's going on. So I went there, they had them in stock. They told me the batteries were fine. I was like, ugh, that's unfortunate. So since the batteries were out and you guys remember that wiring mess, I went through and I rewired everything. Like just went through all the wiring, did all that. Um, hooked up the batteries and it was still kind of hard cranking over unfortunately so I was like what is going on I mean that's after I redid the grounds and stuff on the battery so I was like what is going on so then I was like oh since I was in the the like the where all the relays are that box the fuse box underneath the hood I was like well I might as well just check the starter relay so I went to pull the starter relay out and it was like stuck in there um, I was like, oh, this might be the problem, and uh, I ended up pulling that out. Like the cap, like the black cap came off, and I was like, what the heck? And that's never happened before. And then I accidentally touched it, and the starter was like, rawr, rawr, rawr. and uh, so I mean that went super easy. So I was like, okay, so it must be the solenoid. So I just cleaned it up. You know, eventually I got the the relay out and cleaned all the terminals and all that and put it back in I haven't had any issues starting but the, uh, the, the one of the codes was uh, crank sensor and uh, that was that was the next thing I was gonna do is the crank sensor so I was because that can have uh, trouble making have trouble starting too and then besides it's a code and it doesn't run right and blah 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 so crank sensor is the next thing um, I was having difficult so thoroughbred diesel right i mean that's uh, some of the videos you can watch um they show all the maintenance and i mean they have like other people running the camera me it's just me you know trying to film everything and do everything so that's why it's harder for me to kind of show exactly what i'm working on unfortunately i wish i had somebody that can um run the camera while i'm doing it but that doesn't always happen or i can't set up the camera correctly or it's too cold um Yes, I'm wearing the Milwaukee jacket, by the way. I love it. Um, so, like I said, crank sensor. Um, I was watching Thoroughbred Diesel and a couple other videos, and there was, there was some confusion on where the crank sensor was actually located. So on Thoroughbred Diesel, they were showing um, driver's side underneath the VP pump, and there is a sensor there on my truck. And then on other videos for like the 99, if you research it, it shows on by the starter, which is still driver's side. So um, unfortunately, I didn't see the third bread diesel uh, video. And uh, I was doing other things, watching other things and, you know, trying to research it to figure out where this sensor was. And I ended up uh, pulling the starter out which took me maybe 10 minutes unbelievable i couldn't believe it super easy to work on so far that truck um got the crank sensor in plugged in the light went away so i'm assuming that was the right sensor but then i watched the video with thoroughbred diesel and i was like hmm like they're they're showing it under the vp pump so now i'm kind of confused on the whole situation but i mean the light went away so I don't know uh maybe it'll come back maybe it won't who knows i did have a, the battery unplugged 
So maybe if I drive it around for a little bit, it'll come back and then I'll just replace that crank sensor. Or maybe there's two, who knows, I don't know. So, so that, that was that. I did the, let's see, or let me just go through some things here, sorry. I should have been more prepared. So that was the first one, crank sensor battery uh, wiring let's see let me get a pen $2,400 for the truck, which I believe is an insane deal. Like I said, I think the 